and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain. I swear Hypercam is going to make me pop a blood vessel. Because it was giving me that stupid too high of a frame rate error or whatnot. And it was just like, ugh! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when we last left off... Like Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wraith armor. Let's put these on, shall we? And you'll get to see what the Wraith armor looks like. Yeah, it looks just like Kane's regular old armor, but he just glows like a ghost. Now, let's go and try and find Azimuth, shall we? Through this door. And also, might want to use the save point. And of course this is a re-recording because I had some I was just like I was just doing some things that were just outright stupid. And also I'm just like oh just if I if I accidentally cuss that's because I'm really peeved off. What's through here this door anyways by the way? I had not even realized the blade and the raiment were here. You wear those trinkets well, Cain. But I do believe that they would look better on me. The matriarch of Avernus, the Lady Azimuth. Her magical planing skills summon demon demons through runes inscribed in human in human blood. Yeah, Azimuth! Bit bat shite insane. <sighs> Finally found you after all this time. Now I'm gonna do a little something here because let's see. just get repel up, and of course I do want to equip the Soul Reaver because once I go through this door. Come to me, to me, my children. We shall ravage Nargoth together. Yeah, we gotta fight Azimuth. And the problem with her... <sighs> or, well... Oh. Did I get her? Aw, oh, damn it! Yeah. So, little man. Have they sent you to stop me? My children shall rip you apart. Yeah. The thing with Azimuth, <laughs> she teleports a lot, Flame sword. and it just gets rather aggravating. So, I want to do this. I want to use this, and of course... Come, my demon. Let us sup on vampire blood. And yeah, she yeah. Don't bother with the demons. She'll just they just respawn infinitely. And there's an energy bank in action. Allows you to cast spells infinitely. However, with the Soul Reaver, it's a t entirely different story. Come on, yeah. Just don't even bother with those. Come on. Ah! Yeah, getting Azimuth is a pain. And this is also the reason why I'm re-recording. Oh my god. This is just the most aggravating fight in the game. The Soul Reaver. Oh, I need the flame sword. Let's see. Now I need to use it. Repel quickly. Yeah, those guys can hurt. And there goes the energy bank. Well, they killed themselves. All right. The Soul Reaver. Come on. Yeah, get over here, you witch. Freaking stupid. See, like, look at that. Like how? Ugh. Yeah, see there? The energy banks, the Soul Reaver 
the soul still takes up s still takes up your magic even though energy bank gives you infinite magic a weird oddity but whatever let's just deal with it I got like freaking over 50 of the damn things also a thing oh come on the frick off See, like, look at that! Oh! Come on! <sighs> yeah, apparently a bit of source. I don't know if this is correct, but apparent. <sighs> but apparently the Wraith armor is only effective at night. And for the love of... There we go! Once her demonic thralls have been dispatched, she fell quickly to my blade. Holy crap, I did it! That was, that was like, oh man. It took me 10 minutes or so to do this fight. And I did this in like f about four minutes less. And also, whoops, zoom in. And I think I shall use a Heart of Darkness. Because I don't want to, because those guys can be really... Yeah, they can be really vicious. Anyways, let's finally grab the dimension token, shall we? Azimuth Third Eye, a gift from the Pillar of Dimensions, allowed the planar sight into other realms. The pillar reclaims its own. Yes, Azimuth's Third Eye. Not as macabre as Nopraptor the Mentalist's head, but there you go. And, like, what? Do you just, like, rip it? Did he just, like, rip it and mount it on a plaque? Because, yeah, just... Yeah, let's see, where is it? Items. Azimuth Third Eye was a gift from the Pillar of Dimension. Yeah, it's pretty much just like that. It's just an eye with a patch of skin with an eye stretched over a frame. Ugh. And also, what the hell is this thing? It will deliver you in time. Okay, cryptic nonsense. Oh boy. And also, after this, we're. I'm definitely gonna go looking for secrets. Because, oh man, I am actually really. I'm a little bit behind. And also, it's almost. It's almost a full moon. Definitely need to. It's definitely one spot I can think of that I need to get and also 28 days zero hours exactly on the dot Ugh. you know what I'm just mad that hypercam and my computer were just fighting me and also we're teleported out here and here's a bat beacon this way leads forward but oh whoops I need to use the triangle button because I need to go and teleport Let us go and see Ariel. Don't need to see that. Before the dimension pillar, I lay the eye of Azimuth. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. Well done. You have found Mobius's toy. Azimuth, not content with summoning demonic thrall, stole the time-streaming device in order to gather creatures from other ages as well. Take care of the device, Cain. It will deliver you in time. The legions of the Nemesis are on the march from the north, crushing all in their path. T'was not too long ago that the Nemesis was known as William the Just, a caring and gentle benefactor of the land. But as his army grew in strength, and he himself grew in power, the veil of tyranny fell, and one kingdom was not enough. So many cities, so many dead. Willendorf will be sure to follow. The nemesis must be stopped, or all shall be lost. 
How can one stop an army? You must rally the forces of Willendorf. They are the last hope of Nosgoth. How can you stop an army, Kane? Just get my Pathfinder character, Enigma, which is his name. He freaking has an item that goes by the name of Io, and it has an ability that once per day, you can essentially unleash a freaking massive mini nuke of fire in a 100 foot radius on a, on a point that deals a ton of fire damage. Yeah, I pretty much used that ability, and I wiped out a small army with that. With Enigma. It was just crazy and also damn it! That's why I keep this. The pillar of energy. And where is it? Nope. Where's Dimension? The pillar Ah. The pillar of Nope. The pillar of dimension. There it is. Finally got her. She was a pain in the neck. Now, instead of going over to Willendorf, Willendorf City, I need to... Where is it? Do, 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 do. Damn it. Yeah, you have to press up and down to... to select pillars, and you select places like these with the left and right. <laughs> it's telling you this now on like part 29? Yeah. Also, apologies for this for those who are currently watching this in as this LP is in progress. It's just a bit too distracted and a bit and a bit tired. And woo the oracle Whoa, shiny lights! Whoa! Yeah, I honestly don't like doing videos if I'm at not at my tip-top shape because it can really screw over. Let's see, now there's some place... Now, there's somewhere in here, there's something that I missed. And I think it's time that I went and got it. Because, well, for completion's sake. And also, really, I should have just... Just used the bat pillar... Down... Near Malik's Bastion. Right here. And also, with all the titles, Malik's title is actually Malik the Damned. Dejun, Dejul is the Energist. Bane is the Druid. Or Bane the Druid. You know what, let me start over. Because I'm screwing it up and I bet some people are going to be like, No, you're getting it wrong! Let's see. So far... Let's see. The Guardians that we fought so far was... Let's see. We have Nopraptor the Mentalist. Yeah, Nopraptor the Mentalist. Bane the Bane Druid. Dejul the Energist. Malak the Damned. And Azimuth the Planar. Those are the titles that each of the Guardians that we have fought so far have. Not that I give a damn. Now, there should be a cave nearby. Somewhere in this camp, encampment. That should hold the thing that I'm looking for. Something that I missed entirely. And heck, I haven't even gotten this in my original when I first played the game either. Ah! Water! Ah! It burns! Ah! Burns like acid. Now, one of these caves. Ah! I think this is it! I think this is the cave that I passed right up! Aha! Yes! It is a spell shrine that I missed! <laughs> I completely bypassed this! Burn! 
Or I'll just drink your blood. Whoa! Well, screw all you guys. I got... I got repel. Ah, burn! Oh, right. You just... That's right. You just, uh... Go up to them. Ugh. Wow, that was a lot of magic. And here is the spell that I had missed. The human mind is a fragile thing. One minor shock properly timed can render them catatonic and ripe for feeding. Yes, the stun spell pretty much does that. It's actually much better than incapacitate. Really, you just want to use... Blood gout. Ah, yeah. Yeah, too bad I didn't get them in order. That kind of that kind of bothers me because that's supposed to come after inspire, inspire hate, hate but before incapacitate. Ah. Uh, but now it's right there. Oh well. Um what do I do? Oh yeah. Oops. Okay, apparently I can do that. And now let's go through here. Yeah, these guys just end up destroying themselves. So, it's no biggie. Magic rune! Hmm. Come on! Aha! Haha! <laughs> just thought I'd do that. Do it that way because it's more funny. <laughs> and. Burn! Burnt chicken, anyone? No. <laughs> do -do, do -do 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 -do. Whoa! There's apparently that dude there. And we are out! Woohoo! Oh boy, the next full moon. Just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, boy. And also, speaking of my character, Enigma, oh, boy, the Pathfinder campaign that I'm in is probably going to be... It's either going to be really good or really bad, depending on how the DM set things up. Oh, man. Because apparently what he told what he told us is that he's either had it... Either things will be too easy or too hard. And I'm that just like just uh, what? Frick! <laughs> That's not good. Now let's see, uh Dark Eden. I don't know why I'm going here. I should honestly really should check this on my own time, but I really don't have Stomach behave. I don't exactly have a whole lot of time as of right now. Because, well, going to be going out and about. Whoop. Nip. Nope. Let's see. Where the... Right. Oh, pff, there's a bat pillar right there. And you push that boulder, Kane. And this thing. Which is runes and... Oh, man. Just wait until I'm able to get up there. Yeah, also, if if you do know, let me know in the comments about the Wraith armor if it, in fact, does only work at night. Because if so, that's a rather disappointing armor. Because, really, you already are taking half the damage from your magic. Why should it also have another requirement? Seriously. Just bogus, if you ask me. Well, anyways, I think I shall finally end it here. And I actually did a whole lot better this time around. Because, oh man, I was just like rambling and ranting and just like going off tangent. And of course, not to mention the fight with Azimuth the first time around was so bad. Anyways, I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video.